I'm talking today to Madeline Russell, who is the leader of the Bedfordshire County Council. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning. Um, I'm always intrigued why people ever get into local politics in the first place. So how did it come about with you? Well, in some ways it was by accident. Um, I've always been interested in politics. Um, I did A-level history and I was intrigued by the diplomacy that went on in Europe in previous centuries and I was also intrigued by British politics. Um, but I never did anything about getting actively involved. I'd sometimes sort of see something going on locally and sort of get mad about it, but still didn't do anything because I was busy commuting to London all the time. And then in 2001, I was with some colleagues who were governors with me on, on um, the upper school governing board, and he was standing for um, county council election, and they were looking for another candidate. So there's a general perception out there that young people are, aren't interested in politics because it's boring. Um, what are your thoughts on that question? Um, well, we do a lot of work with young people, um, particularly with the Youth Parliament, on uh, making sure young people understand the mechanics. But I think one of the issues is that um, things have become very centralised. There's a lot of talk at the moment about central government giving issues back to local government to solve. And I think that um, young people will only want to really be involved in politics locally when they can see that they make a real difference. And we try to enable young people to make as much of a difference as they can. But, I mean, I had to learn when I came into local politics that you can't necessarily do exactly what you want to do because you have to abide by what's laid down by central government. Mm -hmm. And you say you've been living in Bedfordshire for a very long time. Um, what is your view of the image and identity of Bedfordshire? Well, I think Bedfordshire has lost a lot over the last 20 years. We, we've lost most of our manufacturing industry. Um, places like Allen's in Bedford and Vauxhall's in the south of the county and we've lost all our market gardening. I mean Bedfordshire and certainly my part of Bedfordshire and Brussels sprouts were synonymous and you very rarely see fields of Brussels sprouts now. So I think we have to move on and um, one of the reasons I wear this badge about we love Bedfordshire is um, because it's an identity that we've used to promote economic development in the county. And we're looking at two main areas. One is um, high technology, science. Um, we are very well placed in Bedfordshire. We are um, in a sort of triangle with Oxford and Cambridge and London with the universities. And of course, we've got Cranfield University. And uh, we're well placed to support high tech industries in places like the Colworth Science Park. And the other issue is to give the, the place an image, something that, that they know, people know Bedfordshire for. And that's why we've been so supportive of the Naira project, which is, um, if you like, an, a, a water-based version of Eden, and there'll be a biotope, and um, things like the Amazon rainforest will be recreated there. And I think it will be um, a nucleus for a tourism industry in Bedfordshire that we've already got to, to a large extent with Whipsnade Zoo and Woburn um, and places like Shuttleworth. But I think, you know, having Naira there will really make people come to Bedfordshire. And who knows, we could become quite a tourist centre. Yeah. And the research that's been done shows that there are 22 million people live within two hours travelling distance of the Naira site, yeah. which is fantastic. And that figure was put together before we had um, Eurostar coming into St Pancras. So, you know, you could have a day trip from Paris to yeah, Naira. Yeah. Sometimes it's confusing for the general public to understand the difference of the responsibilities between the county council and local councils. What um, can you explain this for us? Well, it is a problem. Um, we've had this system since 1974 and it hasn't become any easier to, to say what the difference is between the councils. But... Um, the County Council is responsible for education, it's responsible for social services, both for children and for um, adults. Um, it's responsible for things like trading standards, for the registration service, so if you go to a registry office to get married, um, that's the County Council. Um, highways is a big one, and also uh, waste disposal. I mean, that's where it gets a bit confusing because the district councils collect the rubbish and the county council is responsible for disposing of it and also, of course, for sorting out all of the recycling and sending the recyclable materials on to their destinations. 
So um, we do have some really big services and, and a huge budget. I mean, our budget is over half a billion now. Is there anything specifically you would like to hear from the public at the moment? Anybody watching this film? <laughs> well, um, I think one of our success stories over the last couple of years is that people told us that they didn't like the state of the roads in Bedfordshire and of course that's something that affects everybody and we've put a lot of extra money in um, over the last two years we're beginning to get some feedback that things have improved um, we'd like to know whether the general public really think they've improved and, and if not you know what the issues still are. Thank you very much Madeline thank you very much for your time and very useful and a greater understanding of what your job is about thank you. Thanks very much.